Mathematics, mathematical symbols and signs. The most complex becomes simple with time. Mathematics, see what you find when you start to look forward with a disciplined mind. Mathematics, logic and proof that is used to determine mathematical truths. It's mathematics. Step in the class, and by the time the bell rings, I hope you're ready for math. In the right triangle, given two sides, use the Pythagorean theorem you can find. Unknown value, so you have three. Label all the sides with an A, B, and C. Yo, looking for the C? This is where you find me. I am that side right across from the 90 degrees. The angle with the little square, shaped like an L for the legs that are there. If we call the legs, what we call the third side is the hypotenuse. Say it if you heard it right, hypotenuse. Longer than the other two, so to find the missing side, here is what you're gonna do. Set up this equation, C is on its own. Of the three numbers, it is always alone. It goes A squared, yeah. Plus B squared, yeah. Yo, equals C squared, yeah. That's right. Use the Pythagorean theorem you can find. Unknown value, so you have three. Label all the sides with an A, B, and C. In the right triangle, given two sides. Use the Pythagorean theorem you can find. Unknown value, so you have three. Label all the sides with an A, B, and C. A squared, yeah. Yo, plus B squared, yeah. Equal C squared, yeah. That's right, yeah. Use this equation when you find the your side. Yo, here's a way to do it when you're giving both legs. Square them, add them, see what you get. Take the square root of that, that's the last step. Now you just found the hypotenuse, right? It's a little different when one leg is missing. Set up the equation, everything in its position. Square the hypotenuse, same for the leg. Subtract the smaller number from the bigger one to get. Down to this last step, take the square root. So I'm pretty sure that you know what to do, right? It's the last step, take that square root. Now I'm pretty sure that you know what to do, right? In the right triangle, give it two sides. Use the Pythagorean theorem you can find. Unknown value, so you have three. Label all the sides with an A, B, and C. In the right triangle, give it two sides. Use the Pythagorean theorem you can find. Unknown value, so you have three. Label all the sides with an A, B, and C.